Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Right off the bat, I just sat down to do this. I just got back from DT. Um, for my OGs who went live with me <laughs> on Thursday and I showed you my cornfield right like directly behind my home. Well, soon as I sat down, guess who showed up in the field? The farmer. And guess what he's doing? He's plowing the corn. And I'm in my bedroom, which is really close to the cornfield. So if I were filming, all of a sudden we hear loud noises or anything like that. It's just a disclaimer. It's the it's the farmer. He's he's plowing. But I have a really exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. So real quick for the ladies that joined me live here on YouTube to watch me take my junk journal and make it, oh not junk journal, junk mail and make it into art in my junk journal. Ah, do we not have fun or do we not have fun? And then I went live later in the day because there's some people who couldn't make the 10 o'clock. I went live later on Facebook, on my Facebook group, which guys, if you have not joined my Facebook group yet, please do so. It is linked down below in the drop box. All you have to do is answer three questions. I think I have three questions and I will approve you. It doesn't cost anything, it's free. And we have so much fun there. And it is a place for you guys to show me what you're doing, what you found at the Dollar Tree, what you're crafting on, re you guys, funny memes, whatever. We just have a blast. Well, I went live there as well. And we had the most interesting conversations. <laughs> we just had a great time. Thursday was a wonderful day. So I just want to make the announcement here that I probably am going to be going live every Thursday from here on out on my YouTube channel at 10 a.m. And we discussed it while we were live on you on, I want to get them right, on Facebook that we're going to be doing some live cooking over at Facebook. So I'm um, doing Facebook Live. So I just want to put it out there real quick in my intro here. So there's some new things coming. I'm not going to be doing cooking here on Missy Journals because this is about journaling and, you know, being you know, artistic in our craft style, but we can definitely cook live over on Facebook on my group. So please, please, please check it out. I also have a Facebook page that's dedicated specifically for um, Missy Journals, and I post things over there that I don't post over here on YouTube. So please connect with me there. I also have um, two Instagrams. My Missy Journals Instagram is everything that I work on here on the channel. I post there for better, you know, better looks and pictures. And then my do what you love large is my plus size lifestyle um, Instagram. And I post some interesting pictures over there as well. So I thought if I was going to do all this, I might as well just get it all out there and do this in the intro. So guys, these lives are so much fun. If any of the ladies that were there on Thursday are now watching this haul, please comment down below how much fun we have. And that anybody who did not join us on the lives are as not following over at Facebook or even subscribed here to Missy Journals that they should show, do, should, should, should so, <laughs> do so. That was a mouthful because we're going to have some fun. Anyways, I should quit talking, but I'm still, I'm still reeling from the lives. I'm still laughing. I'm still having so much fun. If you guys want to know what the in on all that is, please go and watch the replays of the lives here on YouTube and the lives over at Missy Journals. You will laugh, not Missy Journals. Yeah, on Facebook. You will laugh your butt off. You will laugh because, I mean, we laughed. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let's get into the haul from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put it out there that there's a lot of Christmas stuff in this haul. And I'm not going to apologize because it's all out. It's all freaking adorable and I could not leave it behind. And I said I was done, but I'm going to squeeze this in real quick. While I was at this particular Dollar Tree, they had an incredible stationery and crafter square section and all that stuff. So while I was there, <laughs> I filmed a whole bunch of stuff. So get ready for a how to start a journal or how to journal cheap using stuff from the Dollar Tree. That's going to be hitting the channel very soon. Hold on one sec. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? It's poking me. Anyway, <laughs> who else 
keeps their money there. I don't know if the cashier people, women are like, eh, but men are like, gonna hand me boob sweat money. Anyways, I'm totally off topic. Here's my first item. Five minutes in. <laughs> I'm a talker. But anyways, can we talk about this? Oh, Emma geez. So these are brand new. Actually, I could have went crazy, but my husband went to the Dollar Tree with me and he kept me kind of grounded. But I could have went crazy for the Tupperware stuff because they have all new, like, what you would take, the cookie Tupperware. All beautiful pattern styles, prints I've never seen before. And the size of this stuff is fantastic. Like, the size of it. Like, look at this, guys. It's bigger than my head. This is massive. It has a lid. And look, it has a handle. It's so stinking cute. And this one says, Ink, eat, drink, and be merry. And it has a little gingerbread man on it. This is adorable. So anywhere you're going, potluck, cookies, I don't care what you got. Like I put a pie in here, hot dish, you're taking some kind of casserole, it's going in this. This is incredible. And even the other style um, Tupperware containers with all the different prints, like they had gingerbread print, um, they had new truck print out. Just the new prints are awesome. But I liked this one specifically because it has a handle. That is so neat. So I absolutely love that. Then, I don't know if anybody else is going as crazy over this stuff as I am. This one has hot glue stuff on it. So I'm going to clean it up real quick before I show it to you. But did anybody notice, like you're going to see a lot of it in this haul. Gnome for the holidays. This is so sick and cute. I love it. I love, I love this look. I love it. I love it. And it's got like a little plaid going on. I just think this is so stinking cute. And the little holly. This is adorable. Adorable. So I totally love that. And then these are new too. I mean, of course, the size of the sign isn't new, but the print is new. Look at that, believe. Is that not freaking cute or what? Is that not cute? They had another one that said, let it snow. I was going to get that, but again, my husband was there. And he's like, why do you need two of the same size? I'm like, because they're different prints. So one day when he's not with me, he's outside my door. When he's not with me, I'm going to pick it up. So it'll be in another hall if it's still there. <laughs> but isn't this so cute? I love it. And I love the background. It's like a faux... I don't know what it looks like. Kind of like a rug. Like a rug. I love this. I just loved. Loved these signs. So I'm going to pause it while I get the other bag so I don't grab a frame. One sec. Okay, just so you know, this haul is completely random. So you're going to get Christmas stuff and then other stuff. Okay? Okay. Okay. Just putting it out there. Okay, so these were cool. This is... Does that say Jewel? I'm almost positive that says Jewel. They had a bunch of these in all different colors, but I really, really liked this one, and I love, oh, it's Julie, I'm sorry, Julie, it's Julie, and I really loved these two color combination, but they did have other colors, I just think this is really, really nice, and you get two nail polishes for a dollar, so that's basically 50 cents, so I thought that was a really good buy, and I love the colors, love the colors, and then I did pick up more nail polish, they must be in other bags, because... Every time I watch one of my videos, because most of my crafting or journaling videos are my hands, they look terrible. And I'm just not the type of girl to go, like, get my nails done all the time, but I need to be more on it. So I was like, I'll buy myself some nail polish, and then I'll be on making my nails pretty myself. Okay, okay. <laughs> so anyways, I love this one. This one is by LA Colors. Do they have names or are they just like numbers now? 302? Like, does it have a name? I don't think so. Oh, here it is. Gold Coast. So I bought another nail polish to go with this because I really feel like this would be really pretty on like your accent nail. And then if I find it when I come across it, the other nail polish I bought is supposed to go to this one. And that's why I loved this one so much because I would paint my nails all of my nails this color and then my accent nail would be that color so that's why I really liked this one too I wish they had more pretty colors I would have bought more of the jewelry and then 
girl needed some deodorant, so, you know, just throwing it out there. And then I saw this. This is new, too, e.l.f. Now, the product e.l.f. isn't, but the lipstick and the packaging of the lipstick, that's totally new. I've never seen because I wear a lot of e.l.f., and this is totally new. And this is in Classy, and I really love the packaging. I think that's really, really cool because you get to see the real color of the lipstick and the silver. I don't know. I just think it's sleek. So they had a couple colors of this as well. They were just a little too dark for my complexion, but I think this one's going to work out really, really nice. So I got that and then the girl, I'm so excited, but I think I'm going to make a whole nother video for this. I might include it in the, you know, buying things at Dollar Tree to do journaling for cheap. Um, these are color flow and quick drying, no bleed ink, three felt tip pens, and they're the color that they show. So you get that beautiful orange, pink, and purple, and they are felt tip, and it says no bleed. Girl, if these work, this is going to change my whole journaling, like this is going to rock. This is going to rock my journaling experience, and these too. This is the next one I wanted to show you. So they're both by the same company that like ink at the top, the INC. And this one says quick drying, a bright, bold color pen marks. These are permanent markers with the assorted colors. So you get this beautiful teal, blue, pink, and purple. Again, girl, if these, if these are what I think these are and they don't ghost or bleed onto the other side of the paper or smear and smudge, like, yes, yes. Dollar Tree, more of that, please. Okay, so we're going to, oh, wait, wait, no, I have, this is amazeballs. But with the lighting that I got going on right now, I'm hoping that it doesn't, like, blind you. Look at this. Oh, God, it's so horrible. The lighting is awful. But it says, merry and bright, and there's white lights going around this and it's iridescent like oh god I wish you guys can see this but the lighting this is absolutely gorgeous in person it's got like a rainbow effect the font is gorgeous and it's the kind that um that peel back this is my new water this is my, this is for my water. Like I'm so gonna, is this BPA? We put this hand wash only, no microwave, wait, hand wash only, not microwave or dishwasher safe. Okay. It doesn't say anything about being PPA free, but it's okay. The, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. This is freaking gorgeous. I absolutely, I adore that. I adore that. Now I'm going to get another bag. Okay. So I love this cup. It says naughty nice or I tried and it's got a little check. I love that it's printed on both sides. And this, this look, that's a coffee mug. That's what I'm talking about. So the next one I'm going to show you, I don't normally ever buy these and DT puts them out every single year. And I think they're supposed to be like meant for like a nice gift idea because they always include candy in with it. But I never buy them because this is a coffee mug and the girl consumes coffee. And what I'm about to show you is like five sips. But can we, um, like, can we like warm Christmas wishes? Like, can we, can we, do you see this print? I, I'm all about the woodland creature stuff. The greens, perfect. The fox, the squeal. You got a stag on there, the little rock. I mean, this, this cup is rocking, but besides the little additional candy that you get which I've never in my life tried I don't even know if they're good or not I, like I said I don't normally buy these but this is why do you see what I'm talking about like this is a coffee mug this this is pretty <laughs> don't get me wrong this would be great for I don't know I will definitely drink something out of it but you know 
I don't know how much coffee, like this would be like a four cupper because it would probably take two of these to equal one cup of these. Because you see what I'm talking about? Like that does make sense, right? But like why can't this print be on this cup? Just saying, DT. I know you watch these hauls because somehow you're always on the up and up of what we like. So this print on this cup. Just saying, just saying. Okay, I think I got it. Now you probably couldn't hear that big rumble. Yeah, he, oh, that's interesting. I wonder if I could turn my camera. He stands on top of that. That's crazy. You pro if, if I turned it, the, the sun is setting. You guys probably wouldn't be able to. This, this machine is massive and he stands on top of it. Okay, totally off subject. I found the other nail polish. <laughs> okay, so when I bought this one, which we decided was Golden Coast, I bought it to match this one. This is what I would paint my nails with and this one would be, do you see the reflection on my hand? The sun's starting to come in. I even feel like I have to squint. But this one is called rose gold doesn't look it but rose gold and i thought this would be cute for the accent nail and then i just loved this color i would paint all of my nails this color this one's by kiss and this one is gel but if i remember correctly i don't think these ones ever had names uh, i don't know but that's it i can't find i can't find a name on there but so those are my nail polishes because i'm planning planning to kick, kick it up a notch so my hands don't look so grody all the time and then while I was over there I was like you know the girl really could use some new um mascara so this is just LA colors it's beyond black um big and it says it lengthens lashes full effect brush so you know thought we'd give it a try for a dollar you know can't be that bad and then my daughter needed some razors. I told you it's kind of like a mismatch. This is razors, right? Yeah, razors, just a mismatch of all kinds of stuff. Then it's the season. It's the season, and I really love these. I love these. So these are the Coca-Cola Lip Smackers. Now, sometimes these are really, really hard to find. This is a name brand. If you can find these, which they only had this one, but they usually have different flavors and like styles of these, these make fantastic stocking stuffers because they are name brand. Ooh, and they really are nice on the lips. So because it's Coca-Cola, the flavors are cherry, vanilla, and regular Coke. Yep, lip smackers. So I love these love these I always put these in my purse it's it's that season then I found more pens I knew I bought more pens so these ones are ultra fine which is what I desperately needed I use my micron for everything um I forget that I forget what it is but it's, it's not ultra fine and sometimes I need an ultra fine black pen when I'm doing my outlining so these are pro max this says it's superior quality tip and it's like ultra fine. It's point, it's point 0.5. So I know that that's even smaller than my Micron. So I'm hoping these, I'm hoping these are what I think they are and that they don't bleed or ghost either. So I'm excited to try all these. And then I found this. They had this in three different sizes, these doilies, the beautiful red doilies with the snowflakes. I like the smaller ones for my projects because they work better in my journals. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the larger doilies because when I do send happy mail and stuff, I love to wrap everything in um, my, the doilies. It's pretty to send. But these I prefer in my journaling. And then I got my <laughs> Sasquatch shirt on. I need to pull it down. So I mentioned earlier that I went like gnome crazy. So I found this bad boy. So it says known for the holidays. I love it. It's got the, 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 oh, the sun is horrible. I love the lighting, but at the same time, it's horrible for reflection. But look, look at the plaids, the buffalo check. I love it. And I would imagine this is totally not like dishwasher safe and all that stuff. This tumbler. Not recommended for use in microwaves or dishwasher. Yep, that's what I thought. And I don't see anything about the PPA, so I don't know if it is that way or not. 
but I love this. I don't know if my camera will pick it up or not, but see how it looks like there's glitter? There's glitter effect the whole way through this. This, I'm telling you, this and this, they like made my whole purchase. I love these. And then I think one of the last things I have to show you guys is I bought the whole set. I do have to tell you though, they reek. They smell so bad. Known for the holidays. So I got two of these for my stove. And the glove. And then you get two pot holders. I set I love this set I was hunting the coffee mug because if they had a coffee mug I would have bought it and then I know everybody's raving over they brought um all of that um the red and black buffalo check stuff out like this like this out um they had supposedly they have tumblers and coffee cups and all that stuff out this DT didn't have any of that I might have picked one out but I'm telling you if anybody has already seen um, like a coffee mug like this that has the gnome print on it please comment and let me know so that I can definitely be looking for it because if I can find a coffee mug I'm all about the mug life if I can find a coffee mug with the gnome print I would be thrilled I don't know what it is about me but I love tumblers and coffee mugs and I just I love all that stuff so anyways, I'm talking way too much. I'm very talkative today. I think, yeah, I think that's it. I am like, 2020 Dollar Tree has been awesome. The rest of the year has been, oh, oh, I, I have one more thing. I have it set off to the side and it's going to fall. Hold on one sec, guys. This is not new by any means, so it's not like this big, huge deal. It's probably why I didn't make a big deal out of it. But it is the first time I've ever seen it. And it is the Sassy and Chic Facial Cleansing Brush. You put batteries in it, it actually, like, moves and stuff. I've heard a lot about it. Some people say it's a live or die kind of thing. Like, they absolutely adore their, theirs. I know that, like, high-end facial cleansing brushes are really expensive, um, I've been on the hunt for it, gave up, and then all of a sudden, boom, it was in my Dollar Tree. So this is new to me, but it's not a new product. So nothing really, you know. But I did get one. <laughs> now I think officially the Dollar Tree is over. But, um, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go now. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for Christmas. I'm very excited for all the things. I'm very excited to try out all of my new pens because pens are life. I am a stationary hoarder. I love stationary. I love pens. I love paper. I love stickers. I love notebooks. I love, I, I love it. So I am so excited about these. I cannot wait to try them. But I think I'm going to put that in the video that is coming right after this one, which is where I'm going to take you in Dollar Tree and I'm going to show you where you can get journaling supplies for very cheap. I'm very excited about it. Just as you all know, though, it's all going to be a voiceover because trying to talk with a mask over your face with a store full of people yeah anyways I'm gonna go now so be on the lookout for the next video where I take you into Dollar Tree with me and we're going to look at all the stuff that you can do stationary stuff for journaling and then like I said I will probably test out the pens from the Dollar Tree on that video so and look out for Thursday, Thursday Lives, Thursday right here on Missy Journals, 10 a.m. And then join me in my Facebook group, and I think my very next live there is going to be a cooking video. It's going to probably be like keto style, but we're still going to be cooking. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm so glad that you did. Take care of you. Be blessed. And as always, stay creative and journal what you love.
or shock wart too.